Μεταδώστε την είδηση, όχι τον ιό. Spread the news, not the virus. Είπατε αρμοστία του ΟΗΕ για τους πρόσφυγες, το Solidarity Now και το pod.gr ενώνουν τις δυνάμεις τους σε podcast για να σε βοηθήσουν. Άκου τις διεθνείς οδηγίες για τη φροντίδα ασθενή στο σπίτι στα αγγλικά. Spread the news, not the virus. Solidarity Now, UNHCR and pod.gr join forces to support you through a podcast series. Listen to the international guidelines for patients' home care in English. Spread the news, not the virus. In the fight to reduce the transmission of COVID-19, we are all one team. We stay informed, we take precautions, we stay safe, and we protect those around us. Instructions for home care of patients with COVID-19. Patients with mild symptoms and without underlying chronic conditions such as lung or heart disease, renal failure or immunocompromising conditions may be cared for at home. In case of home care of patients with suspected COVID-19, the below suggestions are made. Patients and household members should be educated about how to apply adequate measures for infection spread prevention for the entire duration of home care, 14 days. Place the patient in a well-ventilated room used only by him or her. Limit the number of caregivers, ideally assign one person who does not belong in a high-risk group. Do not assign a person who is elderly or with chronic illness. Visits are prohibited. Household members should stay in a different room or, if that is not possible, maintain a distance of at least one meter from the ill person. Limit the patient's movement in the house and assure good ventilation of shared spaces. Use of a simple surgical mask by the person who takes care of the patient. Masks should not be touched or handled during use. After use, and if the mask gets wet or dirty, it must be discarded. Then, hand hygiene is performed. Perform hand hygiene by washing hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or use an alcohol-based rub before and after any type of contact with patients or their immediate environment. Hand hygiene should also be performed before and after preparing food, before eating, after using the toilet, and whenever hands look dirty. If hands are not visibly dirty, an alcohol-based hand rub can be used. For visibly dirty hands, use soap and water. When washing hands with soap and water, it is preferable to use disposable paper towels to dry hands. If these are not available, use clean cloth towels and replace them frequently. Always cover mouth and nose during coughing or sneezing or use a surgical face mask or cough or sneeze into your elbow. Hand hygiene follows. Materials used to cover the mouth and nose should be carefully discarded or cleaned appropriately after use in case not designed for single use. Avoid direct contact with body fluids, particularly oral or respiratory secretions and stool. Use disposable gloves and a mask when providing oral or respiratory care and when handling stool, urine and other waste. Properly perform hand hygiene before and after removing gloves and the mask. Waste generated during home care, example gloves, masks, tissues, should be placed into a tight plastic bag in the patient's room before disposal with household waste. Avoid contact with potentially infected objects of the patient, like plates, glasses, forks and knives, towels, sheets, which after thorough wash are reused. Daily clean and disinfect surfaces that are frequently touched in the room where the patient is being cared for. Regular household soap or detergent should be used first for cleaning and then, after rinsing, regular household chlorine disinfectant containing a proportion of 1 to 50, if 
5% initial dilution bleach is used. Daily clean the toilet and bathroom with the same chlorine disinfect. Carefully place the patient's contaminated clothes, bed linen and bath and hand towels in a separate laundry bag to avoid contact with skin and clothes. Machine wash with common household detergent and water at 60 to 90 degrees Celsius and dry thoroughly. Use gloves and protective clothing, example plastic aprons, when cleaning surfaces or handling clothing or linen soiled with body fluids. Perform hand hygiene before putting on and after removing gloves. Patients remain in home isolation until symptoms are resolved and they are medically assessed and evaluated. All family members are considered close contacts and should monitor their health. In case a person shows symptoms of a respiratory infection, example fever, cough, sore throat, difficult breathing, she or he immediately calls his or her doctor or AOD, telephone number 1135 or 210 one two zero five four to receive instructions management of contacts persons including caregivers and healthcare specialists who have been exposed to individuals with suspected or confirmed COVID-19 are considered contacts and should monitor their health for 14 days from the last day of possible contact in case they develop symptoms of respiratory illness, example fever, cough, sore throat, breathing difficulties, or diarrhea, they seek medical help immediately. Regular, even daily direct phone communication of close contacts with healthcare personnel is advisable throughout the entire monitoring period. Persons considered close contacts must have instructions on the transition to a designated healthcare facility in case needed. Prior notification of the receiving medical facility that a symptomatic contact will be arriving. While traveling to seek care, the contact should wear a simple surgical mask. The contact should avoid taking public transportation to the facility if possible. An ambulance can be called at 166 or the ill contact can be transported in a private vehicle with all windows open if possible. The symptomatic contact should be advised to perform respiratory hygiene, cover mouth and nose during coughing and sneezing, use a simple surgical mask, tissue or elbow and hide hygiene. Also, to stand or sit as far away from others as possible, at least one meter, when in transit and when in the healthcare facility. Any surfaces that become soiled with respiratory secretions or other body fluids during transport should be cleaned with, with soap or detergent and then disinfected with a regular household product containing a dilute bleach solution, 110. We will not let fear win. Stay safe. Ήταν το Frequently Asked Questions for Migrants. Ένα podcast του Solidarity Now σε συνεργασία με την ύπατη αρμοστία του ΟΗΕ και το pod.gr που δίνει χρήσιμες πληροφορίες σε πρόσφυγες και μετανάστες που ζουν στη χώρα μας. Βρείτε το podcast στην ιστοσελίδα του Solidarity Now στο pod.gr στην ιστοσελίδα της ΗΠΑ της αρμοστίας help.unhcr.org, Spotify, Apple Podcasts ή όπου ακούς podcast από το κινητό σου. It was the Frequently Asked Questions for Migrants, a podcast by Solidarity Now in collaboration with the UNHCR and pod.gr that gives useful information to refugees and migrants living in Greece. Find the podcast on the Solidarity Now website on pod.gr on the UNHCR website at help.unhcr.org, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts from your mobile phone.